Hello friends and welcome back to Naturally Sprigs. As I prepare to plant six bushes in front of my house, one of them being a hydrangea bush, which I do not pronounce correctly, so sorry. <laughs> and the remaining five, um, my lilac bushes. I made mention of this in a previous video, um, mentioning that I do have seeds so I could plant these bushes, but I wanted them now. So <laughs> I went ahead and purchased them for cheap at Sam's Club for a pretty good deal. Okay, so I'm starting with the first bush. And uh, I will say that digging in the dirt is hard work. It's definitely a great exercise. If you're not into the gym, like I'm not, um, gardening is the way to go. So I'd say give it a whirl. I've also noticed that in the soil in, that's in my garden, it's kind of like a clay-based soil, so it's kind of hard. So oftentimes, if when I'm transplanting or direct sowing, I do have to break up the soil. Uh, but I do sometimes use that uh, tough soil to my advantage. For example, while planting these bushes, um, you know, sometimes they like to flop over and such. Um, if I don't have the hole in the ground, um, kind of like if I have it lopsided in a sense. So what I'll do is I'll use the soil because it's kind of like the shape of a, a rock. I will use it as kind of like a splint or a lever to, to or leveraged rather to hold it up from flopping over, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of going down the line and digging the hole and just adding the um, bushes to each hole and I'm just making sure I have enough space to set the whole thing in there so I don't really have to break up the soil around the roots of the bush and for the remaining bushes I'm just gonna go ahead and just dig the holes there should be about three left I'm gonna go ahead and dig the holes and then go back and drop each of the bushes in each hole I'm just kind of tossing the bush <laughs> the bush to the side as I'm going down the line. Okay, there goes the third one. The fourth one. And the remaining fifth one. That one was a little stubborn getting out the pot. So I'm just kind of placing the soil around like I mentioned earlier. Okay, then I'm just going to tidy up this area. And I do like to save my pots if they're sturdy enough. So. so I'm getting my water hose ready and removing my trusty dusty lawnmower. It's amazing how the cheaper lawnmower worked out better than the more expensive one that we had. So anyway. So I just turned on the water hose and I'm just making sure that the water is flowing before I go all the way up the hill. And I'm just going to drench each of the bushes just to make sure that there is enough water for the roots and the plant itself. Because as I mentioned before, being on a hill, all the water tends to just drain off, which makes sense. Gravity, of course. But I just want to make sure that they have plenty to drink. Thanks for watching.